for the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, guys? And here, and today, I got you the final expanded deck profile before Daytona Regionals coming up this weekend. As a matter of fact, when the time this goes up, I'll actually be leaving tomorrow morning to Daytona. So, again, guys, I've been saying this for the past few videos, but... If you guys are going to Daytona this weekend, if you happen to see me, please come by and say hello. I really can't wait to meet you guys there. So, now that quick little plug-in is taken care of, let's go ahead and take a look at this actual expand profile. For those of you guys who have been playing for a very long time, you are going to have a lot of nostalgia seeing this. Yes, your eyes are not fooling you. This is a Team Plasma deck. I decided to do something a little old school. Something that can be updated with some of our new stuff here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the um, Plasma deck here. Well... This would technically be considered the TDK version, which means Thunderous Deoxys Kira. So let's take a look at Thunderous EX here. And yes, we're using EX Pokemon here. Something that hasn't really been used in a very long time. So, he's a 170 HP Team Plasma Pokemon. He has the... He's fighting, so he has the fighting weakness, which is 50-50 right now. No metal resistance, because this was in the era where... For black and white, for whatever reason, they did not have their electric Pokemon have the metal resistance. So, a little bit interesting there. And the main attack we're going to be focusing on here is Raiden Knuckle. For a single lightning energy, does 30 damage, and you attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench team plasma Pokemon. It can be any type of energy. It can be a basic or a special. And there are many ways to boost up this damage right here. This is being one of them right here with Deoxys EX. So, but the main ability we're focusing on here is Power Connect. So that your uh, your Team Plasma Pokemon's attacks, except for the Deoxys EX, do 10 more damage to the active Pokemon. So we're definitely running four of these here to just... If we're lucky, we're able to boost this up by 40 damage with just the Deoxys alone. And our other attacker is going to be Kiram. It's 130 basic, not too bad. HP for basic even by now standards, and it's got two attacks. Both are pretty decent. First off here is Frost Spear 30, and does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Two energy seems a little steep for something like that now, but back then that was actually pretty, pretty big for a non-EX to have something like that. Not to mention, once again, we have lots of ways to boost that. And Blizzard Burn for 120, and he does a Pokemon can attack during the next turn, which we can easily turn that into the one-hit knockout numbers. And for support, I'm running one Shaman EX, Bench Drawn, so you have six, and of course the one type of Lily to get a supporter out. Alright, now there's going to be some cards here that a lot of you, especially for those of you who haven't been around for the old days, are not going to recognize, so I'll go over those cards here first. So first off, we have Team Plasma Ball. So you, you search your deck for a Team Plasma Pokemon, and that's it, no discarding, no pitching, anything. And it's any Team Plasma too, so it could be a basic Team Plasma, a Stage 1, Stage 2 Plasma, all that stuff. We have here Colrus Machine. You search your deck for a Plasma Energy, attach it to one of your Team Plasma Pokemon, shuffle a deck afterwards, of course. I don't know why I brought up the last part, but... Basically, it's Energy Acceleration for your Plasma Pokemon on top of the Energy Acceleration from Thunderous already, so... That's pretty good. And this is the Plasma Energy here. It's just a colorless special energy, but when attached to a Team Plasma Pokemon, it can give special abilities, for example. Helix Force here, 30 damage, and this Pokemon has any Plasma Energy attached to it, does 30 more damage for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. Honestly, if Power Connect could apply to Deoxys EX, this actually would have been a very good Pokemon attack-wise on its own. Like, even if just, like... Back then, I get why, because I would have been so busted back then. But now I really kind of wish that it would at least apply to other Deoxys. Like, I don't know. Personally, like now, if this at least said excluding active Deoxys EX, then I think that would have been fine. But back then, standards, that actually would have been extremely busted. And technically, even though... This is a common card to see regardless. Colvis is, in fact, a Team Plasma card. So, little fun fact for you guys who did not know that. And we've got our usual Bell Compressors here. We have Electro Power in this deck to boost up our Thunderous damage by 30 more damage. And Choice Band to boost it up by another 30. 
So, in our best day scenario, we're going to be doing 70, 100, 130 damage for a single landing energy. And we're going to be accelerating energy on top of that. So, that's by standard way, that's really, really good. And, of course, we got our Sycamore and Lily and Guzma. Computer Search. Ultra Ball, of course. Going to be running two copies of Skyfield because we're going to be using a lot of things on our bench. I thought about using Thunder Mountain to have the Thunderous attack for free, but... All in all, the sky feels just too important. And I kind of had, and this was kind of a tight deck as it was, so. Finding room for even just more than two was kind of tough. And, actually, wow, I almost forgot this energy here. Well, I didn't forget about it, I just forgot to mention it because this is a really old card. It's called Prism Energy. And as long as it's attached to a basic Pokemon, and it's, had, it's, it's a rainbow energy. It counts for any type of energy, but it can only be one at a time, of course. But there's no damage counter placement on it. It's just, boop, there's your energy. So there that is. And with that, everything else is just pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead to our verses here. And let's go ahead and try to see if this deck still has what it takes. Alright guys, first match of the day. And it looks like we're going against pure fighting here. Interesting. Our Deoxys here might actually have a chance to do some work. That'd be really cool to show you guys Deoxys, because I always feel like Deoxys back then was an underestimated attacker, because like, 30 and 30 more for each energy on your opponent's Pokemon. I know by today's standards that's not too much, but back then that could have actually made or break games. Alright, we'll be going first. And starting off here with a Thunderous. Always awesome. So let's see, we're starting with a Thunderous Plasma, Team Plasma Bowl, Battle Compressor, and a Lily? Yo! Wait, what's with the Dun stuck there? What? Okay. Alright, I see you, TCGO. Yo, oh my goodness, oh, is that what's seen? Okay. Okay, our head's busted. Oh, we only have... Ooh, we only have one white cure in there. Gotta be careful with that. Let's go ahead and plasma ball for the said Kirim. Attach there. Go ahead, Lily. I'll compress for that. Um, thunderous. Actually, no, not thunderous. I only have one rescue stretcher. Let's see from here. Actually, actually, I want the Tapu Lele right here, and then the other two battle compressor. So we don't need to compress anything else away. Go ahead and put Pokemon from discard to hand. Make that type of Lele. Bench type of Lele. Let's go for Sycamore. Honestly, if anything, I'm just trying to go for the end bait here. And we'll pass. Yes, Thunderous is weak to fighting, but with the Reggie Rock inactive, I'm not worried about that. And now I'm even less worried. Skyfield, that, that is actually exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, so that's the plasma energy there. I'll, I'll attach this to Lele for turn. Just so I have a retreat option. So I'll go ahead and attach choice bands to those two. Um, those are not very useful to us right now, so we can go ahead and stick more of those away. That's not a problem. Yes. Oh, man. I, this is what I want to see. 
Okay, let's go ahead and retreat to the Thunderous. Alright, so we're doing 30, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we're doing 90 damage right now. 150. Eh, I'm not going to be too worried about that. So we're doing 60. Got 120 there. Not, uh, not worried about that whatsoever. Just help me get rid of weak poke, weak vulnerable Pokemon, and my bench is still as strong as it was. All right, so let's go ahead for the Karina. So with that, we can't do too much. At least, as far as at least winning the game this turn. So there's Lucario. Ooh, Lucario. Then that guy could actually put in some work against him specifically. Ooh. I mean, he played a supporter for turn, so he can't draw into too much, I would hope. Alright, so with that, 50, 100. Okay, 100 damage, we, we still survive. Go ahead and do our electric powers here. Ooh, electric power number three. That's busted. Um, we're gonna raid a knuckle for 150. We're actually gonna attach that to our Deoxys. Cause Deoxys really has the potential to put in work this game. Brooklyn Hill. We actually might have been able to use that. You know, if our Kerms were in the prizes. Alright, so he's got a Core Screw Smash for Knockout. Ooh, so he's gonna be able to draw a full. Oh, so close. So close. Being able to draw five cards on off an attack, though, still, that's pretty dang powerful. Um. Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and put up the Deoxys here. And I believe I have Guzma in there. Yes, I do. Alright. Gonna be able to be taking four prizes, I believe. Frost Spear. And yes! Four prizes. Four prizes in one turn. That is what I'm talking about. I am sorry, Lucario. Lucario has like one of my favorite EXs right there of all time. That hurt me a little bit to do. But, yeah. Had to be done. Still, four prizes in one turn. That is how you do it. And luckily, we have successfully played around Sledgehammer there, so very thankful for that. But his damage, nonetheless, is still going to be boosted quite a bit. So we have to... Gotta respect that. that still going to be doing quite the damage. Mm. Let's go ahead and attach to Deoxys for turn. Gonna be bumping that. Bench Deoxys. We can go ahead and computer search. There we go. Doy, we already attached for turn. Um, let's go ahead and bench Kiram. And do we need. Is there anything else we can do or even need to do? So we over right there. So we're gonna go ahead, Frost Spear, and we're actually gonna damage up the the DNC. That's like one of his most dangerous damage amplifiers right now. Let's 
Ooh, rainbow rare. All right, so that Lucario is definitely doing work this turn. Okay, yeah, he's definitely one shot in that thunderous. Ain't no way around that. Um, let's go ahead and bring up Deoxys. Go for Team Plasma Ball. Yeah, let's go for Thunderous. Cause now that he's evolved, now our strike's not gonna be doing much damage. Buzz though, I still still have to somewhat worry about. I mean, I guess Lucario too. Hmm. Oh wait, what am I doing? Alright, so 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Alright, wow. I almost severely miscounted that. Almost made this game go on longer than it needed to. Alright. And with that, Blizzard Burn for Game. Alright, alright. Match number one. Still do pretty well against fighting. To be fair, though, we did start off pretty broken. All right, guys, match number two. Let's see if we can keep the train going here. Ooh, Lugia, ironic. I almost did do a Lugia version of Plasma because that was like one of the uh, that was the other version of Plasma that you were able to build. Ooh, ouch. Start though. Oh, well. Not the biggest deal, honestly. Let's get rid of... Ultra Ball Lozawika. Ultra Ball Lele, because we do have the Rescue Stretcher in hand. So it's not that big a deal. Um, let's go for Kiram. Skyfield, we have Glaceon here. Prevent damage by evolution. Ho oh, ho! I am sorry, my friend. As much as I like him a lot, that Crystal Ray will do you nothing this game, sir. Alright, now let's go for Lily. And let's go ahead and Lily for her six. Alright, not too bad. Plasma energy to our Kiram. Attached to my Thunderous return. And we're passing. Overall, not a bad start. But no, going back to the whole Lugia thing. I almost did that, but... I don't know, like... With this current format of both standard of Expanded... I have a very love-hate thing with Lugia. Oh, he's actually not sure which one to get rid of. It almost doesn't matter which one he got rid of, really, because all I have to do is just draw into another... At one, if he got rid of the Prism, I just have to draw into another one and I get it all back. So, another really cool thing with Plasma is that Enhanced Hammers, yeah, those were good, but as long as they had the Thunderous set up, it was basically meaningless. There we go. Plasma. Plasma, no. Um, Prism energy right there. And. Mm, yeah, we're definitely going to end that away. Love that card, by the way. That's like one of my favorite full arts ever. And we have Guzma in hand for next turn if he benches something. So that's definitely good for us. All right, all we gotta do now is just wait. If he benches anything, we're we're set. We're in a, okay, yeah, we're set. We're in a really good spot now. So two Vulpix, Manaphy. Gotta say, right now, like the e the EXs here, I'm seeing from my opponents, these are EXs that even though you don't see much play anymore, they could still be pretty powerful in our current expanded format. 
Especially Glaceon, because like, there's so much evolution Pokemon and expand that Glaceon could just be like that mind blowing tech there. Manaphy just be able to give water anything with water free retreat too. Like that's just really good. Now, question is which nine tails is he playing? Is he playing a GX or is he playing safeguard? So if he's playing safeguard. I know, I'm sorry, Luminous Barrier. I mean, it's bad for our Thunderous, but our, our, at least our Kyurem can get around that pretty effectively. So there's that, at the very least. Mm. Okay, so we maxed down our Deoxys. Plasma Ball. Let's go for another Kyurem. Especially since there is going to be that non-GX nine tails. We need all the damage we can get. And let's go ahead, Raid and Knuckle, knock it out, Plasma Energy onto our Bench Kyurem, and take our prize. So Team Plasma Ball, okay, not bad. Alright, so if he evolves that into the Ninetales, we have the VS Seeker for Guzma, to just be able to get something with Kyurem and start doing damage with that. Probably that slug mallow. Oh, he's actually gonna bring him Deoxys. Fair enough, fair enough. So even though I won't be damaging any well, he's not evolving? Huh. Personally I thought I would have figured it'd be a little risky to not evolve. There's that 30, 40, 50, 60, 60. All right, I. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Guzma. Go ahead and bring him to Manaphy. Ninety-nine hundred. Yeah, yeah, we need both. Let's go ahead and knock out that Manaphy, taking two prizes. Yes, VS Seeker. All right. That is what I want to see. All right, so what he's got here? He's gonna go into the main cargo. Now he goes into the luminous barrier. Which this is the point where we need our Kiram. Need our golden boy right here. Hmm. Quick guard, choose two of your bench Pokemon to keep. So I'm going to keep this, and I'm going to keep a Deoxys. It's honestly not too bad because I've got a Thunderous I could bench. I've got a Plasma. Well, I don't even have to bench a Thunderous. I have a Plasma Ball for another Deoxys to get back right there. Like, that really isn't a big deal for us. Effective using the Cyrus. Definitely effective, I'll give him that. But against us, unfortunately, it's not doing a whole lot. So benching that. Um do I want a Guzma? Or do I actually want a Sycamore? I get Guzma next turn. I mean I get Sycamore next turn. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Go ahead and bring up my cargo. So again, knock on the cargo and do 30 to the luminous barrier. Electric power, okay, not bad. Rental damn ooh. That quick guard is definitely going to be annoying. Not to mention Revenge Blast could be doing a lot of damage to us now. Okay, there's the Enhanced Hammer. That's fine. Ooh, two Enhanced Hammer. Oh, okay, that's not... That may not be fine. How many... How many is in there? Two? Okay, we're good. We're good. There's a Plasma Energy. 
do it just because not to waste it, and let's sick them more. Let's go for the Deoxys arm. Um... Um, these are all things I can do, say, for next turn. Like, next turn, we can blow up with that, but there's not too much we can do this turn, unfortunately. Ugh. All right, so he's using the AZ to pick that up. And yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage. Like, 150 even on its own, that's a lot. So we'll go ahead and computer search. Forty, fifty, sixty, ninety. That's all of our. Yep, that's all of our electric powers. I was afraid of that. Let's go ahead and Lily here. May actually have to rely on Deoxys. Deoxys for these two. And of course, we do need to set up Kyurem again to deal with the little bit of Nine Tails. Let's get a quick guard there, that's perfectly fine. Seeker to Guzma. Go ahead and bring up Deoxys. And we will Helix Force for 120 damage. Hey, Professor K! What's going on? Aw, oh, he, he don't like me right now. Oh, well, I did kind of drink his coffee this morning, so can't fully blame him. He's going to ace a roll of that. Oof. That's actually annoying. That's highly annoying. All right, now he's got his alone nine tails out. Not quite good for us. So we got to just hurry up and get our Kyurem set up. Um, hmm, just gonna have to pass here. So what's in my opponent's prizes? Two double colorless, lady, and a lapras. Alright, so it's gonna get rid of our scatfield. No biggie. Alright, would you need to get into our Kyurem? Oh, that end's gonna. Ouch. I wrong if we get a Kyurem out of this. Oh my goodness, we got something arguably better. Okay, so Roar Beam's gonna knock out. It's fine. Let's go ahead and bring up our Thunderous. Let's go ahead and shame him. Give it for a bunch. That is right. Let's go for that. And what can we go for from here? Just to thin the deck out a bit. You know what? Let's go for the thunderous. Just so we have something to thin the deck out with what our sycamore. Drawn to our stuffs. Right, so let's go for the Raiden Knuckle. I don't care that's not doing damage. 
point is we just gotta get that Kiram going. Alright, so we'll be doing 50 here. Alright, um, let's see, a dirty, 40, 50. And uh, he needs a lot with the Leyland. Knock me out. Um, oh well. Gotta go for it. Don't have much option, that's unfortunately. At the very least, we're gonna knock, knock out the Cobalion. So at least that's another prize for us. There's that field blower. Which in fact makes me wonder if he does have any energy. Fuck, oh, why did he waste his breath with the field blower then? Odd. Very odd. Alright, let's go ahead and bring him Shaman. We're gonna make this an ugly fight. Let's go ahead and course. Viewer cards in my hand. Yeah, that's fine. Nah, we're not gonna be that guy. We'll go ahead and just lose with some dignity. Oh well though, attack and Lele. Plays like that could can really just come just busted. Alright, so basically no matter what, we that was not gonna be our game regardless. Alright guys, so I'll go back to the deck here quickly. Once it's done with that. And yes, I decided to name it Plasma Reborn. There we go. Alright guys, so thank you very much for sticking around to watch this old school video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button, like, and comment down below. And if any of you guys are going to Daytona this weekend, be on the lookout for myself. I'm going to be half cosplaying as N. There was issues with the wig, but I'm still going to be wearing like the outfit and have the little Zoro on me, so... Definitely look out for me there. Can't wait to meet you guys there. And with that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time.